Hey guys, I'm back. <sighs> the amazing Adam. I this is going to be a little bit more of a retrospective, a little bit more of a serious video. If you guys like this, you like want to learn some facts and stuff. Well, just you know, like leave a comment below. Well, I'm kind of bummed out about this. Marvel is doing something really, really, really screwed, fucked up. I can't say screwed up. It, uh, it's just fucked up. They're canceling the X-Men. The X-Men were actually established in 1963 by Stanley and Jack Kirby. You know, like the legend, two legends of the comic industry. Jack Kirby, you know, like old school 60s artist, you know, like he did a lot of Marvel stuff. You know, you could not pick up a Marvel comic in the 60s and not have uh, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee, you know, written by and drawn by on the covers in the 60s. No, you could not do that. Well, the original roster was Beast, Angel, Marvel Girl, Cyclops, and Iceman. Those were the core five members in Professor X. Which, they had some a weird panel when Jean Grey was introduced. It seemed really, they seemed like the Rapey Man. Yeah. They're like, mmm, redhead, gotta get some of that. What you doing down there, Pepper? The cat. Okay, so, uh, this is what... Then, you like, in the 70s, they were on a decline. So, they... Introduced new characters. Like Wolverine. Banshee. Nightcrawler. Colossus. Thunderhawk or Thunderbird, somebody like that, you could turn into a grizzly, you know, like, uh, I'm honestly mixed up on that. <clears throat> yeah, they introduced, they threw some new team members in, you know, like, created, and they had, like, some very seminal moments, like, the first story they were on where they fought a living island and, um, Thunderhawk or Thunderbird dies. Honestly, you know, like if I'm wrong about the name, just like type in the comments what the character's name is. And the original team was captured. That's the initial kickoff of the new team. Then they had the Phoenix Saga, Dark Phoenix Saga. Yep. They uh went up and up against an alien umpire name. The Shi'ar Empire, you know, and you know, in the eighties, you know, like that they introduced Gambit. They did so much in the books, you know, like with Gambit has a really sort of past, you know, like they introduced Bishop, they introduced you know, they've been they created a whole bunch of new characters and expanded upon the X Men universe, you know, like the X Men had so many characters. In their universe, it was as much as a Marvel universe. Yeah, imagine that. Well, <clears throat> and they introduced Cable. You know, like, and in the 90s, there was like a slew of different X books, and they sold like mad hotcakes. Yeah, they were like ultra popular. You know, like, they're out selling you know, like, the less popular characters, like. Captain America, Iron Man, the Hulk. The Hulk was less popular. You know, like, they just, like, shoot them and had this hero as reborn thing. You know, like, they were like, yeah, we'll kill them off, create this alternate universe, which they had the top line artist. Except for Rob Liefeld. He, he's a shitty artist. Honestly. No, I don't like J. 
ginormous, proportionate people. You're like, I like different builds in my character. You're like, it'd be fucked up seeing, like, Nightcrawler, which is a thin guy just, like, fucking ultra-ripped. They, you know, like, there was an Onslaught saga, which they all died, where Professor X tried to slip up Magneto's mind. There's Fatal Attractions in the 90s. Oh, my God, that is when Magneto just, like, sucked all that adamantium out of Wolverine's bones. Yeah, you know, like, and then it hits, uh, then, you know, like, in 2000, Fox got the movie rights to X-Men. Marvel was fine with that at first. Before... Disney brought them out, and you know, Marvel had, like, what's this, expanding so much, they had Civil War, you know, like, Wolverine was the most popular character, he was mega popular, he was a top tier, ultra popular character, which, he was the leader of X-Force, an X-Man, on an Avenger team, had his own solo series, yeah, and you know, like they just you know, like we're like bringing the over Wolverine basically. Recently, last year, they killed him off in a four part miniseries called The Death of Wolverine. Which was which is all in canon too, you know, like it's a part of you know, like what was going on in X Men at the time before the reboot. Well Fox and Marvel, you know, like aren't you know, like happy buddy buddy, hey buddy, let's let's get together, let's be friends. Like, the X-Men are in the weird custody battle where Fox wants Mar- X- yeah, Like, the X-Men and Marvel's all, like, fucking pissed off, like, Nah, you can't have our property and shit like that. No. No. So now they're trying to introduce this galactic family called the Inhumans. Which... I was never a fan of. I look at, I don't like Fantastic Four and the mediocre characters like, uh, Captain America and Iron Man. Except the MCU versions. I love the MCU versions. They're, they're great. But, you know, I look at them as the B list, top tier characters. And I'm like, how the fuck are they so popular now? And you're like, supposedly now Captain America's a Hydra agent and shit like that in the comics. Well, the humans have this shit called the Terrigen Mist, which kills off mutants, sterilizes them, and makes them stagnant and can't breathe. Yeah, that means, you know, like, there'll be no more rogue. Nightcrawler. You know, like, any of those characters. You know, like, that you've grown to love. No more old Van Logan. No more all new, all different Wolverine. Which is X-23, you know, like. I'm just, and the reboot, they changed nothing, you know, like, everything leads up to an event. You know, like, can't they just do what fucking DC is doing? Having six part character arcs, introduce a mysterious villain, which the next video I'm gonna get into, that's a theory video, which is really, really cool. And... I'm going to kind of, like, debunk this one theory and go into another theory about who the no, new Joker is, who the new Big Bad is, and how the Watchmen are tying into it. Yeah, it, it's going to be a cool video. And I want to just do some obscure facts about the X-Men. No. Okay, um... Nightcrawler. He was originally a DC character called the Demon. He was going to be a part of the team called the Outcast, which everyone yeah, at DC was like, yeah, this guy sucks. So, Lynn Wayne, greatest Swamp Thing, Wolverine. Yeah, he's like my favorite creator. You know, I think he's better than Stan Lee. He creates Swamp Thing, which, you know, like, in the 70s, it was, gr it was a great story. You know, like, they had, like, then, you know, like, the first series got canceled, then they carried it on. And Storm, which was a cat. She could change into a fucking cat, yeah. Well, they, you know, like, revamped Storm on that, yeah. 
Another one is kind of some strange Wolverine facts nobody knows. One of them is that he was actually called the fucking Badger. Yeah. It's like the exact same Marvel was like, Honey Badger, don't give a shit. Woohoo! And then he had actual prosthetic claws. And after when Magneto sucked out his adamantium skeleton, it's to keep a mutation in check. He further mutated and looked more female, and he looked stupid. Very stupid people. Yeah. Bad times for Wolverine. Uh, <clears throat> before the reboot, there's two versions of Nightcrawler. There's a mainstay 616 Nightcrawler, which got killed by this Bastion Sentinel thing. His and like just went through his chest because Nightcrawler is one of my favorite X Men. You're like, and hey, it hit me. You're like, looks like you had some too. I had two. You died. And then they have the Age of Apocalypse version of Nightcrawler crossover. Yeah, you know, there's two versions of Nightcrawler. The Age of Apocalypse Nightcrawler was a little bit was darker than the main State Six One Six universe. He wasn't really funny. He was like. Angry is like kind of like the classic Nightcrawler that was first introduced in the 70s. Yeah, you know, like, like they're bringing back, you know, kind of like the old, but making it kind of new to the readers there, jumping on, like, hey, this Nightcrawler's kind of a dick. Um, Wolverine also led X Force, the third volume. That was the best stuff. You know, the Uncanny X-Force was really cool, too. You gotta see a bunch of alternate dimensions. Yeah, it was like time travel, multi-dimensional shifting stuff. You know, like, hey, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned some cool stuff. Oh, and supposedly Professor X was based off of the original version of Superman, which was a psychic. Yeah. Then he had mind control. They had a short story in a graphic for you know, in a graphic format called the Superman. Oh shit. Fuck I'm a comic book nerd. Well have a good one. And bye. I will be back again with my DC video. Yeah I'm, I feel like doing some comic book stuff. And if you like it, I'll do some and I'll throw in the comedy with my thoughts on.